for me, it's just you know showing who you are. Like um, go on a channel or or any video, and when you like something, you don't have time to be like, oh, I love this. But when you don't like something, usually the ones who, who don't like your videos are the ones with a lot of free time. To be honest, good comments, you know, they touch me a little bit. Uh, bad comments as well. Not so much for both sides because I know, I know how things are and how things work, but sometimes bad comments can make you improve. Um, if, if some people, they don't like your drumming because it's um, around a specific style and they're like, oh yeah, this is the same shit, you know? Okay, and then you, next album you change it a lot and be like, oh fuck, this is too complicated. You know, so there is always, you, you, will not, you will never go away. So yes, you can't please anybody. But I said it many times, Niall, and especially I can, I can talk for me, I play for me, I don't play for anybody else. I know we have crowd. I know they, they pay for our shows and everything. And I, it's, it's the best feeling in the world to have people love your music. But um, if I go and you know, ask them what they want to hear and make an album, this is so, you know, this is not art, you know? So every album, I will go with what I think, and then, you know, hopefully some people will keep liking it. But it's gotta be true, man, it's gotta be true. It's gotta come from uh, inside you, you know, like uh, this is what I wanna do and this is who I am. And like Metallica, for example, you know, the, the more they grew up, they changed their style so much. So some people bash them because they're not the way they were like 20 years ago. Like, <laughs> like seriously? I love everything they did, you know, it's, it's a matter of growing up with the band as well. So, yeah, very important. Boston.